Hey guys, the motorbike I'm focusing on today is the 2022 Yamaha YZF R3. The release of the new Yamaha bike has gotten me really interested because it's a really awesome bike. My first impressions, I thought it looked really cool when I saw it, and I saw it in a blue colour, so it looked like a real boys bike I thought. Pros, I like the design and the 321cc engine because of its great power. What some of the cons, what wasn't so great, it's worth $5,299, which might be out of some people's range, but I reckon it's definitely something I should like if you wanted to save up for it, it would be a good idea to get a bike like this. Is the product worth buying? Yes, it's a very good looking bike and has great speed. And like I said, it will cost $5,299. Are there great alternatives? Yes, but no. A lot of cheaper bikes like a moped won't have the same amount of power as look as cool as like a newer bike like this that's got a sporty look to it and it's more of like a performance looking bike than a moped is. Can I make a comparison to another product that is similar? Yes, a Kawasaki Ninja 400. It's a better bike than the Yamaha because it has a 400cc engine which is obviously bigger and it's going to be a lot faster. But the Yamaha is cheaper than the Ninja and it's still really fast for what it is. So that's why I reckon it's better than say, saving up all this money for a Kawasaki Ninja when you can just buy the Yamaha and it's a lot cheaper and it's going to have the speed that's going to be necessary for when you're a new rider or even a medium experienced rider. What's my rating out of 5 stars? I'd give it a 4.5 and I'd recommend it for someone who wants speed and to look cool riding a bike. It's 4 stroke, liquid cooled. Um, the bike is... Uh, it's a very good choice for beginner riders as the bike is lightweight so it's super easy to handle Although it's a smaller bike with its advanced forged piston design borrowed away from its big brother R6 The R6 is the same bike as this but the big brother so it's like upgraded, a bit bigger, maybe a slight bigger engine, some things like that So the big brother R6 still gives the bike a lot of power but the power will not run away from you However, it's a great bike to ride for short people the best part is that it's due, since it's a less cramped design, it's also very comfortable. The Yamaha YZF-R3 um, has a very distinct and stylish design and low heighted seats and a twin parallel engine. So that's really good if you're like even a smaller person. Usually most bikes, if you're smaller, it's more uncomfortable and they're a lot cramped. Like it's not the best type of ride. It's an almost uptight ride. One doesn't have to assume a moto free stance on an R3. So scoot like scoot closer towards the tank and sit up straighter for a more relaxed ride. And the great visibility around town when you're just riding around, maybe even with friends, it's a cool bike to be on. The chassis is compact enough that you can still reach the clip-ons and operate the controls. And the 2015 R3 has a braking distance of 131.5 feet from 100 kilometers to zero. So according to some reviewers, the braking system is not powerful enough to match the engine power. And this is also prone to fishtailing under hard braking non-ABS. And the Yamaha YZ-R3 is an entry-level motorcycle and in the same range as some other motorcycles that are from 250cc to 400cc. When we're talking about motorcycles like the Kawasaki Ninja 400, the Honda CBR300R and the KTM 390 series, it has a similar design to the R25, such as the engine. The engine uses a downdraft induction fuel system and has 10 spoke cast aluminium wheels, reduce unsprung weight. And one thing I'd like to say about these bikes, if the Yamahas are so great for upgrades, like most bikes are, but when you put a performance exhaust on a bike like this, or even maybe take the baffles out to make the exhaust louder, it's a real cool thing to do on a sports bike. And we range the bikes, like I've seen blue, red, black, white, a color mix with white with black stripes. I've seen a lot like that. So when you're buying the bike, it's not just one fits all. There'll be other colors that like, maybe if you have a son who likes a red one, we, you'll find a red one because they have that in stock. That's why I reckon, and just putting even new wheels, the new wheels, the new tire grip and the mags on them, it looks a lot better when you upgrade them. You can put new forks, all these racing things, you can do different caps, different grips. That's all great on this bike because it really suits well for upgrades. And it's a great bike and I definitely recommend it. Thanks for listening, everyone. I really recommend the bike and goodbye.